So how's it going guys? Dustin here, uh, coming at you with another uh, Kingdom Under Fire 2 video. Uh, this time, it is the Goblin Dungeon. Now it took me a while, well, not a while, it took me one try and then I realized I messed up um, doing this. Now the goal here is to run through here and kill as much as possible. That's what you'd think, but it's not. Uh, in this dungeon, there are tons of goblins carrying sacks no matter if you do it for gold or enchantments or uh, or vision stones um, the goal isn't just to run through and kill everything um, that's what I thought to begin with no the goal is actually there are three goblins with treasure chests on their back in this entire place usually there's one between here and here and usually there's one between here and here and the last one is somewhere in this clusterfuck so the goal here is to kill three of them with tre treasure chests on their back. Now I don't know if killing more after the timer goes off or not is effective, but I'm just going to show you anyways. Uh, um, a quick run through of, uh, they're, they're kind of hard to spot. Now when you come in here, you can prepare, you can do whatever you want. Like me personally, I just, I always cast my little creature thingy. And you can do whatever you want in this little area. Now when you come through here you gotta click on F. As soon as you open this seal or whatever this magical door is, the timer starts and I believe you have about three minutes to find these three uh, goblins that are carrying treasure chests on their back. Uh, the rest are carrying uh, sacks. They're visually, you can see them visually, but they're hard to spot. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick run through just so I can show you guys what we're looking for. Now I haven't failed doing this yet. Uh, you are going to want to take your time in the bigger areas, but for the most part you're just looking for a goblin with a treasure chest on its back. Um, there's one right there. You see him? See him right in front? He's got a treasure chest. So we're just going to kill him, going to loot the chest, and we're going to move on. That's one. I wish that thing in the upper left hand corner would like disappear because it does get in the way. So it looks like it's five minutes to uh, to do this. Um, but it's easily doable if you take your time. Now I'm sure somebody could do this much faster than myself. But uh, I usually just like to take my time. My eyes are getting old. You know, I'm getting up there in age. 32 years old is uh, getting up there. So I don't see the goblin in this area with the treasure chest on his back. So we're going to move to the next area. Like I said, sometimes it can be hard to spot. I have been known to miss it before. I think I see him. There's another one right here. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Look at this. Look at this fucking guy, dude. Come on. Die. Alright. Alright, one to go. And this is the hardest part. Uh, which is finding them in the cluster of this. I see him already. Right in front, straight ahead. You see him? Kind of hard to spot if you're not paying attention. It took me two or three laps around here before to, uh... What the hell? God. Alright. So now we can kill whatever we want. I don't know if we go back through if there's more or not. I've never went back through. You know what? I, I am going to do that. I am going to go back now and just to see if there's more that like spawned in or whatever. Because there very well may be. Kill a few along the way. It looks like uh, these chests just spawn in now randomly. 
whenever you kill some. So if that's the case, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill as many as I can. one just spawned in. Do you see that? Oh, maybe not. I don't know if that was a chest that spawned or what. That was really odd. case guys that's pretty much it if you made it this far in the video you've seen exactly what you need to do then you can just spend the rest of your time running around and killing stuff now before there used to not be any chests that would drop after you killed the first three so that must have been something they just added either that or i just got ridiculously unlucky i'd imagine other classes would be easier doing this but In any case, guys, that's how you do uh, the Goblin uh, Treasure Dungeon. You can do this for gold, you can do it for enchantments, or you can do it for vision stones. Me, I just do it for the vision stones because the purple vision stones are hard to acquire. And another frost bowman that I'm not ever going to use. Wonderful. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. And if you're unfamiliar where this uh, Goblin uh, Treasure Chest is at, uh, this mission... I'm going to show you on the map before I go. So it is right here. You can only do it once a day. It's towards the end game. If you start heading towards the end game stuff, the missions, it's right here. It probably opens up at level 30. In any case, guys, I appreciate you watching. And if you have any other questions, uh, let me know, and I'll try to answer them. Peace.